KTSU News at 6. Two years is too long. Protesters rally in front of the governor's mansion and the state capitol in an effort to seek justice in the death of Ronald Green. The event just wrapped up. Protesters are hoping officials heard their voices, asking that the officers involved in his death are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Our Sherman DeSalle has been covering this today for us. He joins us live from Baton Rouge. Sherman, what are the things the family members are asking for? Yeah, Gina Sulla, the family spoke with us earlier this afternoon and the protesters today echoed what the family asked for regarding this 2019 incident. They want all the troopers involved in Ronald Green's death terminated, arrested and properly charged. Protesters say that the outcome of the initial investigation doesn't add up with the body cam video that we now have released to the public. They are calling up for a cover up and they want they want justice right now. Over 700 days since Ronald Green has died while in state trooper custody and family members are demanding more. We must be unrelenting, unrelenting in our coming together. Knowing what they know now about his death, now revealed in body cam footage, civil rights leaders in Louisiana and across the country are asking for the public's help to bring pressure to state officials on bringing justice to this case. We got a whole video. That's good, bro. That's good. Matter of fact, we ain't got one video. We have nine. nine. And nine videos is not enough. Why? It's not enough. It's not enough. Nine videos is not enough to get this family justice. Ronald's mother was joined by several other women whose sons were killed in an officer involved shooting or while in police custody. They're pushing for a full community effort to bring justice for yet another black man. Never stop fighting for your family. Regardless of what they say and how they may rule, mine was ruled as a homicide. But at the end of the day, be mindful. And about a minute before today's rally, Governor Edwards released a statement after meeting with Ronald Green's family this afternoon. Part of it reads, quote, what happened was tragic and I cannot imagine the immense pain of losing a child in such a terrible way. Nothing can make up for the disturbing treatment he received at the hands of some state troopers. I pledge to Miss Mona Hardin that Louisiana State Police is cooperating fully with the Union Parish DA and the United States Department of Justice in their investigations and that under the leadership of a new state police superintendent, change has already started started at the agency. Based off of what we heard at today's rally, we are definitely sure that the people involved will be holding the state officials accountable when it comes to Ronald Green's death. Reporting from Baton Rouge, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News. All right.